as the armed forces of the Philippines prepares for Horizon 3 modernization program which is slated for 2023 to 2028 and AFP moves towards territorial defense. Let's look at the potential candidate for the Philippine Navy's upcoming Frigate Phase 2 acquisition project. The first is from HD Hyundai Heavy Industries with their HDF 3800, which is a variant based upon a proven ship design from the Republic of Korea Navy. HDF 3800 is 120 meters long, has a displacement of 3,800 tons, a maximum speed of 27 knots, a range of 4,500 nautical miles, and an endurance of 30 days. It is armed with 76 mm main gun, one closed in weapon system, 12.7 mm remote control weapon system, 32 cells vertical launching system, two quadruple surface-to-surface -surface missiles, and two triple torpedo launchers. Second is Navantia with their Alpha 5000, which is offered to Royal Australian Navy for the Tier 2 surface combatant. Alpha 5000 is 121 meter long, and displacement of 4,550 tons. It is armed with 76 mm main gun, closed in weapon system, two remote control weapon systems. 32 cells vertical launching system, two quadruple surface-to-surface -surface missiles, and two triple torpedo launchers. Navantia was partnering with Australian shipbuilder Austal for the domestic construction of Alpha 5000. Should Navantia decide to participate in the Philippine Navy's future requirements for new warships as part of the Horizon 3 phase of the revised AFP modernization program and beyond, it is highly possible that they might also tap Austal to build the ships locally if the technical specifications and terms of reference of Philippine Navy shipbuilding projects will include clauses for transfer of technology and local construction. Third is ThyssenKrupp Marine Systems with their Miko A210 light warship design. Miko A210 is 125 meter long, has a displacement of 5,700 tons a maximum speed of 27 knots, and a range of 7,000 nautical miles. It is armed with 127 mm main gun, one closed in weapon system, two 12.7 mm remote control weapon systems, 32 cells vertical launching system, for quadruple surface-to-surface -surface missiles, and two triple torpedo launchers. Fourth is Damon with their Sigma 12516 multi-mission frigate design. Sigma 12516 is 128 meter long, displacement of 4,600 tons, a maximum speed of 27 knots, a range of 5,000 nautical miles, and an endurance of 30 days. It is armed with 76 mm main gun, one closed in weapon system, two remote control weapon systems, 32 cells vertical launching system, two quadruple surface to surface missiles, and two triple torpedo launchers. Fifth is Mitsubishi Heavy Industries with their 30DX Mogane Class Multi-Mission Stealth Frigate. 30DX Mogane Class is 133 meter long and has a displacement of 5,500 tons. It is armed with a 127 mm main gun, one CREM launcher, two remote control weapon systems, 16 cells vertical launching system, two quadruple surface-to-surface -surface missiles, and two triple torpedo launchers. With Japan easing rules for the export of defense materials, and close bilateral relations with the Philippines it is highly possible that this ship will be offered to the Philippine Navy. Last is Naval Group with their Defense and Intervention Frigate or FDI which integrates the most up-to-date technological innovations, both in its design and construction, and embodies expertise as an integrator with high added value. FDI is 122 meter long, has a displacement of 4,500 tons, a maximum speed of 27 knots, a range of 5,000 nautical miles, and an endurance of 45 days. It is armed with a 76 mm main gun, one CREM launcher, two next to Narwhal 20 mm RWS, 16 cells vertical launching system, two quadruple Exocet MM, 40, and four torpedo tubes. With the Naval Group submarine offer to the Philippines, it is highly possible that they will likely participate in this tender.